name is Joss. I am Mark. And welcome to... The Gag Show. I always go to say the Gag Vault. Because that's where we film on a night. That's where we film... That's where we film... That's where we film on a Thursday morning sometimes. But we're here today. So. In that studio. Yeah. And we are looking at all the brand new offerings from Jackson. Which I'm very excited about. As you know, Jackson is probably one of my favourite sort of shred brands out there. Or metal brands in general. Jackson mm. is... The bee's knees. Yeah. I love the warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Not the film, no. the guitar. No, I know I got that. Um, and today we have three new offerings. Yeah. Uh, but let's start with the one on your lap. Oh, hell yeah. So as the metal guru of ghoul. I'm not a ghoul. The guru of metal. The metal ghoul. Tell me, uh, tell me what it is. Mm. It's starting to smell weird, this coffee. I'm going to stop drinking it. <laughs> I didn't um, make it, don't blame me. So, uh, this is the um, this is the Jackson HT6, and it's not in Bifrost, it's in Blue Frost. Blue Frost, and a lovely satin. Oh, satin finish. Uh, I said Bifrost. If anyone can tell me what the Bifrost is, you'll get, I don't know, a heart on the comment section. <laughs> Bling! And it would have been personally hearted by Mark. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is basically, this is um, uh, the guitar player from uh, Periphery, Misha Mansour. This mm -hmm. is his sort of affordable range of guitars. Yeah, I think it's coming at like 629 yes. at the moment. Yeah, around about that sort of mark. Yeah. So this is coming, um, this guitar is coming out of Indonesia, but the specifications are incredibly high, as you would have thought for something that um, Misha would be playing. Um, the specs are coming out really high on these models. Um, so from what I remember, um, you get a, a basswood body, um, you get Jackson MM1s, so they're the Misha Mansour designed pickups. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, most of his, well, most of his, all of his uh, USA Jacksons come with uh, bare knuckle pickups mm -hmm. um, because he's got signature Ragnarok set and he's got a signature Juggernaut set when it comes to bare knuckle. Um, so, but you get Jackson and Misha Mansour designed Jackson humbuckers in this Very one. Cool. Um, it's a hardtail guitar, you get a five-way selector switch, but you also get a push-pull tone pot, which I will read through in a moment because the, the, the selecting sort of options are kind of pretty extensive. Um, on the body, you get these huge bevels, um, which is really, really good for just playability, basically, getting mm. right up there. Even with, like, you know, small hands like mine, it's no, I'm not even touching the body yet, and I'm already at the 24th fret. Um, which is a really, really nice touch on there. On this rather baked maple. Yeah, so this is caramelized maple. Just sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So it's a one piece caramelized maple neck, but you do get the scarf joint to where the headstock starts as well. Um, it's beautifully constructed. Um, it's just a really, really clean and lovely job, basically. Uh, Jackson locking tuners, reverse Jackson headstock, um, the three over three, but it's just the opposite way to what the, these Jackson headstocks usually are the other way. Yeah, like if you look at the Chris Broderick signature and stuff. Um, that's mm -hmm. kind of it, really. Um, it's kind of like just a bare bones, I love the adjustment, like a Music Man style guitar, I love the neck adjustment, the trussle adjustment being down by the body instead of up by the headstock. It's just easier to get to on mm -hmm. the fly, you know? Um, I mean, the whole point is that uh, Misha wanted a guitar that was going to be able to just withstand the rigours of recording and touring. Something really basic that could do the job for him, but was also a killer looking instrument. It's a solid workhorse. Yeah. I mean, all of those guys have got, come to think of it, you know, uh, Misha, uh, Matt and uh, Jake have all got signature models with different brands, but they're all, relatively speaking, quite basic models. And the only reason I think that is is because they, you know, when you're a, as much as you are a touring band with those guys, those guys are on tour all the time, um, you need guitars that can just withstand being beaten every single night, basically. And if you've got a fancy pants guitar that does this, does that, has this, has that, mm -hmm. It can be quite, you know, mm. you could probably, you come across some problems maybe along the way. Whereas this stuff, it's just a bolt-on neck guitar with cool choice and selections and some really rad colours. Really, really rad colours. What colours does it come in? I'm not sure about this one, um, but the USA ones come in like, uh, I think they're going to do a bright orange one of this. That was really cool. I saw it at NAM, but I wasn't too sure. I can't remember if it was an American or an Indonesian one. But if they do a bright orange one of this, that'd be killer. Um, but his USA ones come in like a, either a flame top one or the block color, like matte yeah, black, yeah, yeah. orange, the blue, 
um, or the crazy flame top ones. I saw a black uh, sparkle one once and stuff. So yeah, he, he he's on the color flex. Do you want to um, do you want to run through those specs? I'm yeah, these, I do. I kind of want to pull part things. Yeah, up. because it's quite extensive. So the electronics are so the switching is a five way precision, five way. What the hell? It's a five way position blade switch. So uh, full bridge pickup, position two is the inside coils, position three is both humbucking pickups, uh, position four is the outer coils, and position five is the neck pickup um, with push uh, pull selection feature. Um, See, the problem is it doesn't tell me what the push-pull selection feature does. I can only assume that, for example, if it's like uh, the middle position where it's the two humbuckers. <laughs> not too sure what it does, um, but it's something that will definitely be, you know, spoken about on their website, I can yeah. only assume. Or if there's any demos that Misha's done him himself on that. But, I mean, you've got the five-way switch anyway, so you get all of those tonal qualities of having like uh, snappier tones as well, single core style tones as well as your chunky heavy tones, because Periphery use a lot of clean in their, in their songs as well, yeah. so you need that sparkle to come through as well. Sweet, let's uh, have a listen. We'll just have a quick listen to it, because we are going to do, I want to do some like playing inserts of the guitar, because we've got well, three to get let's through. Let's do that so. now, by the magic of editing. Oh my god, yes. okay, let's do that now. <laughs> Jackson Concord. Yeah, look at that. So, I mean, a lot of people may know the Concord as um, the Randy Rhodes one. Um, you know, the, the 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 classic pinstripe white one that you can get as a Jackson Flying V um, was this shape originally, which is the Concord shape, which basically is exactly the same as the Rhodes Flying V, but it's just got more of a body. Mm. <laughs> It's got, you. excuse me, it's got more body to it. Um, so it's a Marmite thing. It's cool that they brought the Concorde back. I kind of dig it. Um, I prefer the Jackson Rhodes V myself with the sharper 
cut into the body. Um, it's but an odd looking guitar, isn't it? It's a strange one, man. It is, it is very cool, but it's it's definitely different, I have yeah. to say. Um, I've seen a guy that I follow on Instagram who's a, I can't remember his name, which is really crap, but he's a monster shredder. And he's just recently got the Concord Pro Series model in white, and it sounds absolutely insane. And it looks brilliant on him. But I think for me, I'd have to have the sharper roads cut in for me. Yeah. yeah. But this is basically a new release from Jackson. So uh, mahogany body, yeah. uh, laurel fretboard, um, okay. maple neck, one piece maple neck. Um, but obviously it's all glossed up. Yeah. So it's like a... You know, fat? How does that feel? It's not chunky chunky. No? It's like a ja standard Jackson oh, road yeah. sort of feeling neck to me. Um, Jackson pickups in this one. I believe there will be an upgraded version of this where you can get Seymour Duncan's and stuff and maybe a Floyd Rhodes option. I'm not too sure. But you've got the standard Jackson trim on this, like the classic uh, Rhodes model. It wasn't a, tre uh, a uh, Floyd Rhodes or anything. It was like a standard trim sort of thing on it. Uh, volume tone, three-way selector switch. Nice and easy and basic, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just... You know, there's a lot of history to Jackson in this model, so it's nice for them to sort of uh, reissue it as a standard model and not just... Tell you what, when I was in Germany with Hughes and Kettner, um, we went to one of their guitar shops, not Hughes and Kettner guitar shop, went to this guitar shop in Berlin where I was doing a, a clinic, and um, they had the Jackson Custom Shop Rhodes Concord in there, like in the case... Like and everything, and it was like you know, uh, do not touch, please ask before you touch yeah, the stuff. Yeah. And it was only like, th I say only, it was only three and a half thousand sort of euros, but still, it was a really cool. There's a picture of me on my Instagram with it. If you go check it out on my Instagram, it's really cool. It's a really rad looking guitar. It's just this, but white with the gold pinstriping mm -hmm. and stuff, and, and it's all aged and everything. And you get the certificate, and you get a sign, like a picture of Randy Rhodes in the case and stuff. So it's a really really cool sort of. Um, uh, sort of history of the Jackson V, basically. Um, Jackson locking tuners on this one, and this guitar comes out of Indonesia, as well as the the Misha. You digging it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not my bag, but there's gonna be some people that really, really love the, you know, the, um, the Randy Rhodes vibes, the yeah, original yeah. Randy Rhodes vibes, that can now partake in that without getting like a, really, really expensive custom shop guitar. Yeah. Um, so I think these are coming in at the five, six hundred pound mark, um, maybe even more affordable because this one being the Jackson pickups and the Jackson trim, um, and maybe, you know, you're looking under maybe 500 quid sort of thing. But uh, this is, um, yeah, so this is a really, really cool sort of nod, tip to the hat to good old Randy Rhodes. Well, I guess we should see how it sounds because that's yeah. the important thing. Yeah, exactly. So um, let's, let's hear what this sounds like. to the, the most affordable model out of these new Jackson selections we have. Um, this is a, a JS arch top model. Mm -hmm. So where they've usually got a flat top, this has got an arch top to it. 
which is a really cool little feature, a really nice touch. I mean, that has as well, but that's <laughs> a signature model. So, um, so volume, tone, three-way selector switch, Jackson's own high output pickups, Jackson's two-point fulcrum trim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a weird man. I know. Um, maple, maple, Jackson tuners, um, bolt on neck, nice sort of body cut away there. Um, like a black, blacky grey. Yeah, like a satin finish, see through black sort of vibe to it. Um, yeah, I think these are coming in at around about 250 quid, dude. So. I mean, that's great for the money. 24 frets. The inlay work is really, really lovely as well. Um, nice. Yeah. I guess it, it comes down to how it sounds, doesn't it, for that price? I mean, at the same time, yes. Um, but I think it's, I think at the moment nowadays, it's kind of inexcusable to get like a bad affordable guitar. True. You walk into a guitar shop and you say I've got like 300 quid to spend, you'll walk out with a really bloody good guitar. Mm, not always. I mean, from like, from... They still, <laughs> bad guitars do still exist. Oh, of course, of course they you do. Know, but I mean, you unless you, if you've got like a, a really horrible shop salesman, then yeah. Yeah. But if you've got someone that really cares about it, then you'll walk away with a really good guitar. And everyone cares the G-A-K. Everyone cares the G-A-K. Come see me, mate. I'm in the shop a lot, so yeah. I'll, I'll hook you up. Get your commission up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll sort you out. Come see the Joss. And only refer to me as the Joss. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we should just kind of see how these guitars sound, really. Do it. So let's plug this in. I'm already plugged in. Let's play it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 